Hulk. Hello, everybody. I'm going to digitalize this opening since I know how to edit a little bit with Windows Editor. <laughs> That's all good. Something flying in here. Okay, so yeah, this is a video of the books that I'm going to finish out the year reading. And they are some big books. First of all, I've read uh, four of them so far, I think. I can't really tell. Yeah, three of them. But anyway, it's supposed to be a common combination of November and December reads that I'm pretty sure they're going to close at the end of this year with. But first, let me just vent a little bit. I've just got off work and one of my assistant managers is going to take me aside tell myself, I have to coach you on something that you're doing at the registers. I was like, yeah, I, look, I'm very intuitive and perceptive. I already knew who he was going to ask me, tell me about. He's going to tell me that when customers come in and they swipe their cards, I do not ask them do they want to donate to Toys for Todd. No. No, because y'all want me to ask them a million other things. You want me to upsell all the time. And if you got about five people in the lines, uh, no, I'm not asking you another damn thing. I'm going to ask you to swipe your card and get your ass out the store. So if you want to donate on your own time, you are free to do that. We have a little box here where you can drop your coins and your dollars in and you can donate on your own time. But as far as swiping your credit card to donate, no, not in my line. You have to move. But they want to coach me on that. And it was all bullshit, though, because the only reason that they brought that up was because the general manager came and went through my line once to buy, I don't know, a damn sandwich. Because, you know, the managers, all they do is eat. They eat and they smoke their cigarettes and leave everybody else to pretty much fend for themselves for a break. Yeah, we don't get breaks. Not legitimate breaks. And that's another thing that pissed me off. If you are a manager, make, take care of your employees first. Make sure your employees are good. Make sure they've had their breaks and they've eaten so that they can do their job. Yeah. It's not cool for you as a manager to have your employees standing there for four hours or more and you are the one that's coming up to them to get a sandwich wrung out and didn't even ask, you know, hey, have you had your break? Those are the kind of managers I work with. And yet they expect me to keep doing all of this wonderful stuff so that their numbers can be high and they can get raises, whereas I don't get nothing but more headaches. But anyway, yeah, they had to coach me on that. No, bitch, I'm bringing up people and they are getting their ass out of my face. That's the whole point of me going fast. You can show me on the first day you can show me how to do something. The second day you show, show me how to do something. The third day you show me how to do something. After that, I'm going to do shit my way. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was not feeling that. You was not going to tell me how to do my job. No. Especially when you don't ever be on the register. I cannot wait. I have been praying to get out of there. I have no idea why a year ago I left my old job to go to this job. I had, I don't want to say I had it made, but... When I was working at my old retail job, the managers actually gave a shit about their employees. They cared. I mean, I was maybe not the the bad ones, but the good ones, they cared. Like, you got your breaks. They made sure that. Hell, they had food in the break room to give to your ass. So, it's really weird. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but everything is a learning experience, so whatever. It's over with today. I have to deal with them tomorrow and the day after, and then I'm off Thursday and Friday. But anyway, like I said, this was, you know, do whatever you want. This is a closing out the year book reading thing. So, in the month of October, I read Stephen King's It. That was a good book. I started to read it a long time ago, a couple years ago, and what happened was, I was like, no, nah, this, this book too damn big. I'm not going to read this whole book, so I just put it aside, and I decided to pick it up now after a couple of years and finish it. I finished it. I read it in one week, and then I read another mystery by um, Eleanor Taylor Bland, and then I finally got my copy of Yoon... I don't want to say her name wrong! Yoon Chang... Oh, you can't, it's not Jun. It's Yoon Chang... Oh, she's going to be mad at me! Yoon Chang's um, The Empress Dowager... If I said that right too, chi chi. Anyway, I love her. I love this this, this author. Um, I read her book Wild Swans a couple years ago, and it was just fantastic. So I was really excited about reading this when it came out, and I read it. It's fantastic. I suggest everybody go read this book, or I'll pop your ass. So please go pick up this book. It's a biography of one of the last emperors, empresses 
of China. Very good book. I also wrote a little, um, I hate saying review, maybe a discussion piece of my own opinions about this book in my blog and I'll link that down below. So following that, I got Amy Tan's The Valley of Amazement. Oh yes, you know I love Amy Tan. Everybody knows I love Amy Tan. Um, my favorite book by her is um, The Kitchen God's Wife, but I was very excited to have The Valley of Amazement since it's been eight years since she released a book. And this is what I got. You know how they do this on the internet? Wait a minute. Yeah. Ooh, I'm Chinese today. But yeah, anyway, I got Amy Tan's The Valley of Amazement. I read it. It's, it was pretty good. It was, I don't think it was her best. I don't know. It had this feel to it, but instead of just trying to, you know, say what I mean about it in the video, I'm going to link this book to my blog where I've written a discussion, but not a review, about this book. Get over there. I slammed that book down. And then we have Patricia Cornwell's Dust. Uh, this is book number 21 in the Patricia Cornwell, stop lying, in the Kay Scarpetta book series, Forensics. You know, she does open up corpses, all that cool stuff. But yeah, this is book 21. It's big. It doesn't take that long to read it. Well, it kind of took me a week, but still, anyway. A week and some days. But anyway, and this book was dry as freak. I it was really dry. I'm currently trying to write not a review, but a discussion piece about this book on my blog. And it should be the next entry up next. So, I'll put a link there whenever I update that. And then, of course, we have the final Sailor Moon Short Stories Volume 2. Yeah, baby. I always do this on the videos. Anyway, look at that. Yeah, this was great. Oh, excuse me. I, I don't like the Princess Kaguya. If I say her name right, don't be mad at me. Um, story. But, um, yeah, this is that's what it mainly consists of. But I love Ray's um, Casablanca uh, story. Anyway, what I'm currently reading now to keep up with my list is Rich, wait a minute, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, hope I said his name right. Yeah, this book is pretty good. I've been wanting to read this book since I saw it at Barnes and Nobles, like sometime over the summer. But I was not, I was not about to pay oh, twenty five ninety five, basically thirty dollars. I was not about to pay thirty dollars for it. So I finally got a copy for like uh, seventeen or eighteen dollars. I ordered online. I'm reading it now, as you can see my bookmark. And this book is. It's not, it's it's pretty interesting so far. Once you dive into the characters and everything, you'll be straight. So, it's pretty good. I can't wait to read it. It's a pretty fast read. I was thinking this is more like the Jackie Collins of the Asian persuasion. Right, that's what I mean. If you know who Jackie Collins is. I can't read all of Jackie Collins' books. Some of them just ain't written too well for me or something like that. So, once I finish Crazy Rich Asians, I'm on a tie between... Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom. Now, I know Nelson, I can't even say his name right. He probably pissed at me. I know Nelson Mandela recently passed, but I actually got this book on Black Friday. My mother, I hate that word mother, so I say mom, and I don't like that one either. I went to her on Black Friday, and she got a big 50-inch TV. She was like, do you want anything? And this is what I wanted. I had my eye on this book for a while. I know, right? Why would you say, a book? Yeah, I wanted a book. So she was like, do you want anything? And I got this book here. And I also got uh, Yung, Yung Chang's Moi. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't say Mayo. Listen, whoop my ass if you want to. I can't pronounce. I love Chinese stuff, but God damn it. I, I can't say their names like that. But anyway, my, to my tongue don't roll that way. I'm so country. But anyway, this is the biography of Mao. I should have researched that. Oh. The Unknown Story. Anyway, I've been wanting to read this book for a while. And um, it was so huge that I never got to it. So I finally, after I read um, Chi Shi's uh, biography, I finally got a copy of this. And I cannot wait to read it. So this is great. I love these. But basically, I'm going to be closing out the year reading these two. But I don't know which one I want to read first. Do I want to read this one first or this one? I don't know which one I want to read first. So, any suggestions? 
anyway that's closing out my video nine minutes good I did not go over 12 I appreciate all the comments and the likes and the other good things that came along with that and um as I read these books I'm gonna try I'm trying to get stilted into writing about them in the blog so that I can more elaborate instead of trying to run my videos off past 10 minutes which is what it's doing now so I thank you all appreciate it so much this is probably the last video for the year I did my goal I was gonna do one video every month and I actually managed to do that plus some so that's even more fantastic and I appreciate it and I'm gonna try to add some music to this and the people at my job I ain't gonna say nothing wrong bye